this. If you want to escape the buzzing sounds of Barcelona, you come to Gracia. It used to be its own separate village over 100, 120 years ago, but it still has preserved this cozy, small town neighborhood feel. Oh, these strawberries. These strawberries smell like from a mile down. So I'm in one of the plazas again. Gracia is this harmonious mix of hipsters and young people and older residents. And it seems like they exist together so well. No one is interfering with the other. They're just in a perfect harmonious manner. First co-working in Barcelona since 1994. There are scooters everywhere, but seriously, I was shocked to see how many scooters they have in Barcelona. We love eyes from across. Typical of Gracia, these cozy, small library bookshops everywhere. A bio-cosmetic store next to a Greek shop, next to a clothing store, next to a concept store. So these are the type of places you find it in Gracia. Specialty coffee shops. Little, cozy, beautifully quiet neighborhood. And that's why a lot of people come to live here. It's one of the favorite neighborhoods in Barcelona to many people, including myself. We used to live here for a month and we really liked it. The place that we lived though was on a street, on a very narrow street next to another busy street. And it was, it was great, but at night, you know, it gets busy. They have all the trash tracks. And so that was a little bit problematic, but you know, you're in Spain you gotta get used to the noise people here don't don't waste their time sleeping uh, but just be prepared for that otherwise very charming neighborhood and there's plenty to do all these little shops and places just make it wonderful to live in I mean look how cozy it is all these bio shops So colorful everywhere. Oh wow. You come to Gracia because it's still like a little town. It is part of Barcelona, of course, it's one of the major uh, neighborhoods here, but it's almost like you're in a little provincial city within the city with a mix of modern and a mix of old. One of the famous bakeries in Gracia. Look, the streets are, are very tiny for pedestrians, for cars, you, you have to, and they're they one way, a lot of them one way. Yeah, you can feel it with the little squares, people sitting everywhere. This is what I mean when I say quaint, tranquil neighborhood. It feels like a Sunday afternoon here and it's only Thursday. People look so relaxed. These little squares are seriously are just um, just pause in time there oh hello dude incredible to walk here and absorb the character of Gracia the other night uh, we walked by this place that looks so uh, funky cool Maybe you need to be buzzed to go in. Look at this. And behind it. It's weird being here. That's our own old neighborhood. Little park. Oh man. <laughs> I 
right here in the library. So this is this is our our neighborhood and and that was our apartment right there. Well, no, not not much has changed. The shops, the little cafes, it's uh, it's pretty much the same. I remember this deal we got a we got a deal of the day like with some some package like a uh, chicken with beer with chips, and this is a fish market like a little daily fish market and yeah let's go <laughs> yeah that's the entrance but look at the streets tiny little streets yeah yeah this is it yeah they made it a little bit better though they they changed a little something this is new the little elevator on the left. Yeah. Remember the lady that was... She still lives here, probably. Hello! Gracia neighborhood is amazing. But to be honest with you, there is one thing that it is missing. Watch my video here to find out what that is.